Okay, folks, you are not going to believe this. Um, remember my last film? In fact, I'm going to merge the films, so you probably won't have to play part one, two, and three. Or maybe I'll keep them separate, just back-to-back -back as part two. This, I remember that I had a similar background, remember? Um, I decided to to strain through cheesecloth, but this time um, around, actually, I didn't use the cheesecloth. My apologies. I strained it. Through strainers, you know, regular strainers. Um, back in the summer, I used colanders such as this, and I, um, I I actually tripled down on it, if I recall. And you're gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna put the films back to back. Okay. So I kind of did something like this back then. This was just the past summer, right? So I, I triple down like this too, and, and it was a lot of work to strain it rather than using cheesecloth, okay? Oops. It was just an experiment to see. Uh, cheesecloth, you know, it, 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 you know, it's a lot of work also because you have to physically strain it. Where you doing that, I will press on it with a cap. Anyway, moving forward, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to take one of these bottles, empty bottles, okay? And you're gonna see the results. This is crazy. Because I did nothing to uh, the grapes at all. No sugar, no nothing. Once I put it away, I locked it up, which was pretty much filmed, I think. Nothing happened, okay? Other than I put this balloon, okay? If this balloon would ever fill up with the air, I would pop two holes in it to allow it to ferment. But it never did fill up. So I never had to pop it so the air could escape, okay? Nothing happened. This was... So what's today's date? Hold on. So today is November 5th. And this was done on... If you could see. 9-9-22. September, October, November. Two months it's been sitting there, okay? Now my friend at the same time had... A batch of grapes which was much bigger than mine and uh she made wine she drank it i mean it, it, it didn't last but a couple days in fermenting okay uh so they put sugar they put a little bit of sugar and uh they didn't do it the way i did it um they showed me the film the youtube film how they did it and i decided i'm not going to go with that because i have a little more experience right so what they did is they they didn't lock it up they didn't seal it they just had it kind of letting some air go in to get some of the, pretty much just the, the yeast from the air, right? Let it, let it, let it ferment from the air. But I'd rather it ferment from its own air and spit out the bad air from, through the, you know, through the balloon or any, a fermenting gadget. That way I know that bad air is not getting in. I just don't feel comfortable, um getting yeast from the air although it can be done you could you can make yeast from the air and, and make bread from it so it, it, it's just not my policy because i have good enough equipment right <laughs> that i don't have to limit myself all right so now again i'm taking this blue bottle i'm going to i just boil some water and i'm going to pour some water on it as you can see there's hot water in here i don't know if you can see that here I'm switching it around. You can see, look at that. You can see that it's foggy in there, huh? I'm switching it around. And I'm going to pour that water into the next bottle. Because I don't need a whole lot of hot water. Quite frankly, people bathe them. They do bathtubs and all that, you know, to, 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 to sterilize. You know, think about people living in vans and stuff. You know, they, they don't use a whole lot of water. You could just reuse this water and shake it around, right? Shake it, shake the hot water around, okay? And then I'm going to pour it over here to, to clear up the top and, and the thing. Just the same kind of water. You don't need a whole lot of water. I'm, I, I want my coffee. I want to make some coffee. and uh, I'm going to use another bit of hot boiling water on... Okay, so I, I poured, I, I wasn't cheap this time, okay? So I poured some hot water. And as you can see, I could actually lock this and shake it, right? Lock it and shake it, and everything internally is clean. So now I'm going to unlock it. Uh, how, do you pop, how did I pop it earlier? 
I think I did it this way. <laughs> I forgot how I did it. I did it really easily. I did it really easily. Boy. Okay, so I'm failing. I, I, I unpopped it really easily earlier. Let me see if I can do it. Here. So I popped it this way, right? And then if I unpop it. How come I popped it so easily earlier? You have to get used to it, but I unpopped it very, very easily. Trust me when I say it. So let me see if I get some help here. Let's see. Unpop it. I unpopped it very easily earlier. Hold on a second. Let me get another one. 